We are going through exercise 6a and in this video we're doing question 10 which is telling us to use this identity right here to expand the following. So all we need to do for this question is really make sure that we utilize what they've given us. So we need to expand out x minus y raised to the 4 and we need to use this identity to do so. So we are told that a equals x. So that means every time I see an a here, I'm going to put an x there because a equals x. So too, I'm told that b equals negative y. So every time I see a b, I'm going to put negative y there. And that's all we're going to do here. So I have a to the four, so that's gonna be x to the four, x to the four. Then I have plus four, I have a cubed, that will be x cubed. Then I have b, now b is negative y, so it's going to be y, and this whole thing is going to be a negative. Then I continue, plus six, a squared will be x squared. Then it's going to be b squared. Now when you square a negative number, it becomes positive. So I don't have to change the sign there, it remains positive. Then I have plus four, a will become x, my b cubed, that's going to be negative y cubed. Now, when you cube a negative number, sorry, when you cube a, neg yeah, when you cube a negative number, uh, because uh, three is an odd number, it, it stays negative. And then last but not least, we have b to the four, and this is going to be y to the four. Because four is an even number, my negative will go away. For the same reason, it goes away when you square it. So whenever the power is even, your negative goes away. Whenever it is odd, your negative remains. So that is going to be our first answer. Hooray, let me just highlight this. All right, so hopefully you can see it's not too hard. You're just gonna make sure that you get your signs right. The signs are probably the only real tricky part of this question. Let's now rub this out and give the next one a go. So this time it's telling us uh, let a equal two to the x. So every time I see a, I'm going to put in two to the x or two x. And every time I see y, uh, every time I see b, I'm going to put y in there. So this is going to be y, 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 y. All right, let's go. So what I'm going to wind up with is a to the four. Now, if you're a bit nervous about this, just take it really slow. Do that to the four plus four. A, so this is going to be 2x to the 3. Then you're going to put b in there. Then it's going to be plus 6, 2x squared. Then you're going to put b in there, y squared, plus 4, 2x. Then you're going to put y cubed plus y to the four. So you can imagine the only mistake here would just be a mistake in uh, accidentally writing down the wrong thing. Conceptually, it's kind of hard to make a conceptual mistake here. Uh, two raised to the four, that's going to be 16 x to the four. Then I'm going to get plus, now two to the three, that's going to be eight. Eight fours are 32 x y plus two to the two is four times six is 24, 24 x squared, y squared. And look, I forgot my cubed there. Don't forget that you're cubing that x. So I just caught that there. Plus, um, this is going to become eight x y cubed plus y to the four. And that is your final answer. So I can understand why some people might find this a bit tricky. There is definitely potential to go wrong in a few of those places, making sure that you put the right power where it should be. So it's 16x to the four plus 32x cubed y plus 24x squared y squared plus 8xy cubed plus y to the four. Oh man, this is a messy question. And the first one is that we are all good. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in answering this question. I will see you in the next video.